Look at that bologna, huh? Oh, sorry. I didn't know we were rolling. Uh, welcome to Laboratory Larry. I'm Laboratory Larry, and I welcome you to join me during various scientific inquiries and examinations. This episode is about how our planet is not getting warmer. So-called climate change is baloney. Ice caps melting, sea levels rising, more frequent storms and drought. I don't know. Like I said, baloney. Why? It's a conspiracy to sell you more electric cars and uh, windmills and solar panels. You want proof? Why would Antarctica be getting larger if global warming was real? If anything, we should be worried about another ice age. Oh! <laughs> hey! I said no phones, Jimbo. You need to focus on your homework. No, I don't. My uncle is paying you to tutor me. So take this homework and roll it up and shove it. Uh, oh, ho, hello there. Welcome to Lombardi Labs. I'm Professor Lombardi. And I welcome you to join us during various scientific investigations and explorations. This time we are covering a very real climate change that Earth is going through right now. Bah, no it's not. Climate change, it's baloney. And where are you getting this from? Uh, Laboratory Larry, duh. And this is the problem. The internet is full of fake news and pseudoscience. So who can we trust? What? And you're just a guy on the internet, too. You're learning already, Jimbo. It's all about sources. Where do you get your facts from? My uncle, he's full of facts. Yeah, he's full of it, all right. And that's another problem. Family and friends don't always have the best facts. Oh, but my uncle has the best pay, doesn't he? Scientific facts need to come from valid sources that cite the study published in professional journals. For climate change, there's a whole body of evidence from sources around the world. But first, what exactly is climate change? Climate change. A change in global or regional climate patterns attribute largely to the increased levels of atmospheric carbon dioxide produced by the use of fossil fuels. The first good chunk of this growing body of evidence is the steady increase in the average global temperature. There are many sources that have this conclusive data, some going back as far as 1884 all showing a warming trend. Why the late 1800s? Other than better recordings, this is when our industrial revolution really started up, powered by ancient, mainly carbon materials like this. Coal, like oil and natural gas, is plant and animal remains long buried millions of years ago. These so-called fossil fuels are burned for energy while pouring greenhouse gases into our atmosphere. We humans were smart to figure all of this out. But now, not so smart because we continue to burn fossil fuels knowing that it's the main cause for global warming. This burning of fossil fuels releases long buried carbon into our atmosphere at a rate too fast for Earth's life to adapt. So what? We have a little extra CO2 now. Where's the proof that it's part of global warming? Fake news. Glad you asked. Click here to see an experiment where CO2 traps more heat than normal air. No, 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 that, Jimbo, that, that's for them. There's so much data from legit sources that tell us the effects of climate change. The increased heat has led to more extreme weather, disease-carrying insects, extinctions, and droughts, like the one I'm in. But perhaps the worst effect is rising sea levels. This is caused by the excess heat melting glaciers. This can easily be demonstrated when ice melts in water. With this model, several tea light cups filled with ice represent floating glaciers. We simply give it enough time to melt and the water level rises, flooding this coastal town. Intact glaciers keep much of our coastlines leveled, but as more glaciers melt away permanently, sea levels continue to rise. Now do you see how good sources based on experimentation give us our scientific facts, Jimbo? Sounds like one big conspiracy. Conspiracy, a secret plan by a group to do something unlawful and or harmful. Not with science at this scale. Conspiracies only work in small groups. Do you ever try to keep a secret among several friends instead of just one or two? Yeah. And the next thing I saw was the whole school laughing at me about my body problem. Oh, yeah, but this can happen. 
Nowadays, there are all kinds of info leaks. Climate change is too big of an issue, documented by so many legit sources, to be considered one giant conspiracy. What about Laboratory Larry and my uncle? Or, um, alternative facts? Oh, facts are facts. There are no alternatives. Remember, Jimbo, it's all about sources. One, be skeptical. Just because somebody says it doesn't make it true. Two, who's saying it? Make sure what you're reading or watching is from a reputable source. Three, verify. Independent verification can confirm whether something is factual. Make sure it was originally published in a professional journal. You can verify this with Google Scholar. Certain facts can also be verified on Snopes.com. You getting all this, Jimbo? <laughs> I didn't put myself. I didn't put myself this time. Did I? What? Jimbo, that's your uncle. No, oh, no. Oh, all right. Smell you later. Prof. <clears throat> oh, wait, Jimbo, you forgot your phone. Are you going to believe some pencil neck geeks and their climate change? Oh, look at me. I'm a fancy scientist. The world's getting warmer. Baloney. Listen with your own eye. Is your town getting warmer every year? Is the sea swallowing you up? Is your neighborhood experiencing more storms or droughts? I didn't think so. Arrivederci. Whoa, 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 whoa. We can't end on that. What can you and I do to lessen our carbon footprint? Reuse bags of any kind for anything. A shoebox can also be reused to hold stuff like toys, trading cards, or even your toilet paper collection. But if you can't reuse something, recycle when possible. But not just bottles and cans. But also paper! Schools and offices waste so much paper! If your school doesn't, start a recycling program! Oh, oh wait, we, we can't mix these. We, we, gotta, we can't. Turn off appliances and lights when you're done with them. Walk or take a bicycle whenever you can. Not using a car means not burning fossil fuels. And it's good for our health. Okay, let's go. Nice tights. It helps me ride. <laughs> there are many books you can find in your public library that have even more ideas, like this one here. 50 simple things kids can do to save the earth. I'll see you next time. Ships in the sky, I can get twice as high. Come in too, it's on me too. Science isn't real. Fake science.